Hey there, Jake from Drone Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the Zenmuse X3 and X5 mounted on a DJI Osmo in low light conditions. Since we released a DIY video on how to attach the X5 to the Osmo, we've had a lot of requests for comparison videos between the X3 and the X5. So this will be the first one in a series of comparison videos. And if you're interested in seeing how to attach the X5 to the Osmo, then watch this video here. So in this shot here, the sun had just gone down, the street lamps were on, the car lights were on. You'll start to notice the difference between the two cameras in the shadow detail. Now one thing to point out is that the focusing with the X5 was a lot more difficult uh, than the X3 in the low light conditions. Uh, we had to do a lot of manual adjustments, things like that. So I'm um, not sure if it's a firmware specific issue. I don't seem to have that problem when it's on the Inspire. So at this point in the shot, it's essentially dark out. There's a little bit of light left in the clouds. Uh, most of that is actually city light, uh, but you can really start to see the difference between the X3 and the X5 and the noise that's created with the smaller sensor on the X3. Now, as expected, the X5 did much better than the X3 in the low light situations, but the interface is still quirky. So because they've not released a firmware update that actually allows the X5 to be on the Osmo, we're still dealing with some idiosyncrasies inside of the Go app. So um, it's definitely worth doing if you want the low light capabilities and the depth of field and the higher image quality. But if you're looking for a more streamlined and easy to use interface, I recommend sticking with the X3. If you found this video useful, please like it, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.